All right, hey, what's up guys? Gratuitous here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering what version of FL Studio should you buy? And through my research on this topic, I actually found out there's only two versions of FL Studio, but then there's extra add-ons, okay? So there's the fruity edition, which restricts you from not being able to record audio. So which is why I suggest at least the producer edition. So the fruity edition is aimed at people who do, who need like the piano roll, uh, but don't need audio clips, audio recording, anything like, like that. Okay. So in my opinion, you know, I would say you want the producer edition at least. Now there's the signature and the all plugins bundle, but you'll notice the signature bundle is the producer edition. Okay. So the producer edition is the full version. Uh, and same with the signature, um, with the all plugins bundle, it's the producer edition. Okay. So the only difference is if we go to the comparison, uh, we have the producer, the signature and the all plugins bundle. Now, in my opinion, what version should you buy? I would say you want the producer or the signature. I personally use the signature. I feel that the upgrade, and this is uh, Canadian pricing at the time of this video, uh, but I would say the signature is worth the upgrade for the value you you know you are getting, and you guys can just scroll through and see all like, the different things. Now, when you download the trial version of FL Studio, which is you know the free version, it allows you to uh, save the project but not reopen it, and that trial version is actually the producer edition with the all plugins bundle. So if you are using the trial and you're trying out all like the different plugins they've given you if you've saved it. And then if you've uh, bought the producer edition, um, you may be hindered because in the trial version, they've given you like the full thing. So the problem there is if you've used any of the plugins in the all plugins bundle from the trial version, and if you saved it and then you bought producer, then you've opened it up, you might realize, oh, now you don't have some of like the things inside of the all plugins bundle. Now, I'm just being 100% transparent with you guys. Now, some of FL Studio stuff is outdated in a sense of just like some of like the tools, like the EQs, compressors and stuff like that. And then the all plugins bundle, in my opinion, I would say your money is better you know, buy more dedicated tools. Like if you want to buy, you know, nicer EQs or nicer synths and stuff like that. Um, but the signature edition, I think is the sweet spot to get you up and running with FL studio. It's what I've used and I've been using FL studio, I think since like version like seven or eight and you know, lifetime free updates. So FL studio is an awesome music program. So I'm grateful that, you know, I use them and I've found them and I've continued with them. Um, but so there you guys go. That's the difference uh, between the versions. So there's only two versions. And when I found that out, I was like, what? Um, so just sharing that with you guys. So if you're interested in FL Studio, I would say the signature. And if you guys click a link on this page below, uh, it is an affiliate link. So I will get a commission. Uh, but I use FL Studio myself for over 10 years now. And I'm so happy with FL Studio. If you guys want to learn FL Studio with me, I've created a dedicated platform to get you guys up and running teaching you guys, you know, FL Studio beginners, intermediate, more advanced stuff, uh, learning about the piano. And I've also written an FL Studio beginners book uh, for those of you, you know, just starting up and, you know, you know if you like reading, that's going to be a great way for you guys to get up and running. A lot of people have said that they liked my beginners book. Okay. So I'm gratuitous. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this answers your questions. Uh, at the end of the day, I say the signature edition. However, the producer edition, you're not going wrong, but I do feel that the upgrade to the signature is definitely worth the upgrade.